Johnny Carson's Tonight Show was a groundbreaking late-night chat show, shaping the genre as we know it today. The show's historic significance is undeniable, but it wasn't without its flaws. The actor himself, Carson, had a complicated personal life, including four failed marriages. Some may find it surprising that the man behind the iconic smile had such a rocky romantic history. Carson's comedy, while celebrated, also had its problematic aspects. He was known for making jokes about celebrities, which didn't always sit well with them. Despite his imperfection, Carson's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. His show paved the way for future late-night hosts, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Delving deeper into the complexities of Carson's life and career only adds to our appreciation of this classic television show. Johnny Carson, known for his charm and wit on the small screen, was not without personal issues. The actor was reported to have mistreated others, even those closest to him. During his honeymoon with his new bride, Carson publicly humiliated her, leaving a lasting strain on their relationship. Carson's son, Rick, also had a difficult relationship with his father. Rick battled mental illness and unfortunately passed away in a car accident in 1991. The father and son's relationship was already strained before Rick's untimely death, adding to the pain and sorrow of the loss. Despite his success and fame, Carson's personal issues and strained relationships with his loved ones were a stark contrast to his public persona. It is a reminder that even those who seem to have it all may be facing their own battles behind closed doors. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, struggled with alcohol issues throughout his life. This struggle led to several incidents, including a physical altercation with his son Rick at an NBC anniversary gala in 1987. The incident was a result of Carson's intoxication and added to the growing concern about his drinking problem. In addition to his struggles with alcohol, Carson also had legal issues. In 1982, he was arrested for drunk driving and received three years probation. The arrest was a wake-up call for Carson, who recognized the negative impact his drinking was having on his life and those around him. Despite these challenges, Carson continued to be a fixture in American television for decades. His impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, and his legacy as a talented actor and host remains. However, it's important to remember that even those who seem to have it all can struggle with personal demons, and Carson's story serves as a reminder of the toll that addiction can take on individuals and their loved ones. Johnny Carson, the beloved host of The Tonight Show, publicly acknowledged his addiction in 1977 during an interview on 60 Minutes. His honesty about his struggle helped break the stigma surrounding addiction and open up a conversation about the issue. Moving on to his personal life, Carson's second marriage to Joan Copeland, the talented actress and sister of playwright Arthur Miller, ended in divorce. However, Copeland played a significant role in preserving Carson's TV legacy. Unfortunately, their marriage was marred by infidelity. Carson's former agent revealed that Copeland had an affair with football star Frank Gifford, which left Carson devastated. This revelation added to the challenges that Carson faced in his personal life. In addition to his tumultuous marriage with Copeland, Carson had a long-running dispute with comedian Joan Rivers. The nature of their dispute is unclear, but there have been rumors of an affair between them. Regardless of the cause, their feud lasted for many years and was well known in the entertainment industry. Despite these challenges, Carson remained a beloved figure in the world of television and his impact on the industry is still felt today. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of comedians and entertainers. Johnny Carson's first marriage to Jody Morrill ended in 1963 due to disagreements and infidelity. Sadly, Jody passed away in 2015. The actor had a strained relationship with Bob Hope, whom he found insincere and unspontaneous as a guest on his show. Carson's dislike for Hope was well known, and he made no effort to hide his feelings. A particularly contentious issue for Carson was when comedian Joan Rivers got her own talk show in 1986. Carson was outraged, leading to a long-running dispute between the two. The actor had discovered and mentored Rivers early in her career, and her move to host her own show was seen as a betrayal. Despite their falling out, Rivers continued to credit Carson for his support and guidance in her early years. The actor's displeasure with Hope and Rivers was just one aspect of his complex personality. He was known for his sharp wit 
and dry humor, which endeared him to audiences for decades. Despite his success, Carson remained humble and approachable, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, was known for his sharp wit and humor. However, he occasionally made insensitive jokes that offended some guests, including Raymond Burr. Carson's fat jokes were not well received by everyone, causing tension and hurt feelings. One notable public dispute that Carson had was with Wayne Newton. Carson made jokes about Newton on The Tonight Show, which Newton took issue with. The feud between the two became quite public, causing a rift that lasted for many years. Despite these controversies, The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson remains a classic in the world of television. Unfortunately, most of the early episodes from the show's run are lost. However, later episodes from 1973 to 1992 remain intact, providing a glimpse into the magic of this iconic show. Carson's archives are a treasure trove of memories, showcasing his talent and the impact he had on the entertainment industry. From his monologues to his interviews with celebrities, Carson's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. As we look back on this classic show, it's important to remember both the laughter and the controversies that came with it. Carson's jokes, both good and bad, were a reflection of the times and continue to be a topic of discussion and analysis. In the end, Johnny Carson's impact on the world of television and comedy is undeniable. His archives serve as a reminder of his talent and the legacy he left behind. Despite the occasional misstep, Carson's contributions to the entertainment industry will always be cherished. Johnny Carson, the renowned host of The Tonight Show, had a complicated relationship with several individuals in the entertainment industry. For instance, Carson held a deep-seated disdain for Tom Snyder, a fellow talk show host, due to Snyder's unprofessional behavior. Carson was known to frequently rant about Snyder, expressing his annoyance at Snyder's lack of preparation and tendency to ramble on during interviews. Moreover, Carson considered Bob Hope to be his worst guest, a surprising revelation given Hope's status as a legendary comedian and actor. However, Carson found Hope's reliance on written quips and insincere conversations to be a turnoff. Despite Hope's popularity and success, Carson felt that their conversations lacked authenticity and depth. In addition to his strained relationships with Snyder and Hope, Carson was also outraged when John Davidson and Joan Rivers received talk shows that competed with The Tonight Show. As a seasoned talk show host, Carson felt threatened by the new competition and resented the fact that these two individuals were encroaching on his territory. Despite these challenges, Carson remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, known for his quick wit, dry humor, and ability to connect with audiences. His impact on the world of talk shows cannot be overstated, and his legacy continues to resonate with fans to this day. However, it's clear that even this classic host had his fair share of frustrations and rivalries throughout his illustrious career. Johnny Carson, the beloved host of The Tonight Show, was not without controversy during his long career. One area of concern was his treatment of women on the show. Over the years, there were allegations that Carson had harassed female guests and staff members. These accusations have tarnished his reputation and left a stain on his legacy. In addition to these troubling allegations, Carson was also known for his ability to cause a stir with just a simple joke. In 1973, he made a comment about a toilet paper shortage that was about to hit the country. He joked that viewers should stock up on toilet paper and the response was immediate and intense. Panic set in and people across the country began stockpiling toilet paper, causing a real shortage. Carson was forced to address the issue on the show and he apologized for his joke and the chaos it had caused. Carson was also protective of his image and was not afraid to take legal action when he felt his name or likeness was being misused. In one notable case, he sued a portable toilet manufacturer for using the name Here's Johnny for their products. The case was settled out of court, with the manufacturer agreeing to stop using the name. In conclusion, while Johnny Carson was a beloved figure and a classic of television, his career was not without controversy. From allegations of harassment to causing a nationwide panic with a simple joke, Carson's legacy is complex and multifaceted. And even after his death, he continued to protect his image and his name, taking legal action when he felt it was necessary. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, once parodied the children's show host Mr. Fred Rogers. 
The skit, which aired on The Tonight Show, depicted Carson in a sweater and sneakers similar to Rogers' signature attire. However, this impression did not sit well with Rogers, who was known for his genuine and kind demeanor. Carson, recognizing the error, apologized to Rogers, and the two later reconciled. In addition to his parody of Mr. Rogers, Carson also had a notable encounter with Frank Sinatra. Sinatra, a fan of The Tonight Show, had requested that Carson host the inaugural gala for President Ronald Reagan in 1981. However, Carson was unhappy with the event and declined the invitation. Despite this, the two remained friendly, and Sinatra continued to appear on The Tonight Show. Carson's impact on television was significant, and his death in 25 prompted several tributes from colleagues and fans alike. Many acknowledged his ability to connect with audiences and his influence on comedy and late-night television. His show, which aired for 30 years, remains a classic in the world of television and will continue to be cherished by generations to come. As for Carson's relationship with Mr. Rogers and Frank Sinatra, it serves as a reminder of the actor's versatility and impact. Despite any missteps, Carson was able to maintain respect and admiration from his peers and the public. His legacy continues to resonate in the world of entertainment and will undoubtedly endure for years to come. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, had a complex relationship with certain individuals in his professional circle. For instance, he didn't always see eye to eye with Richard Little, an impressionist who was known for his impersonations of Carson. The actor reportedly didn't appreciate Little's imitations and was said to be thin-skinned about jokes made at his expense. Despite this tension, Carson's show was a staple of late-night television and he became a household name. One of his frequent guests was Carol Wayne, a talented actress and comedian. However, her death in 1985 remains a mystery to this day. Before Carson's iconic run on The Tonight Show, Jack Parr was the host. Parr's departure from the show in 1962 created an opportunity for Carson to step in and make the show his own. Under Carson's leadership, The Tonight Show became a classic institution in American television, and he remained the host for nearly 30 years. Throughout his career, Carson was known for his sharp wit, quick humor, and ability to connect with his audience. Despite any personal differences he may have had with others in the industry, his impact on television and popular culture is undeniable. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, was known for his sense of humor and influence in the world of entertainment and politics. In the late 1970s, Carson campaigned to restore Burke Parks as host of the Miss America pageant after he was unceremoniously fired. Unfortunately, Carson's efforts were unsuccessful and Parks never returned to the role. In addition to his public campaigns, Carson also had a private side. In 2014, private tapes of Carson surfaced, showcasing a more intimate and unguarded version of the actor. However, Carson's estate threatened to sue if the tapes were leaked, keeping his private life private. One notable instance of Carson's influence was his mocking of the scandal involving Gary Hart and Donna Rice. In 1987, Hart, a presidential candidate, was involved in a scandal after being photographed with Rice on a yacht named Monkey Business. Carson poked fun at the situation on his show, showcasing the power of humor and its impact on politics. Despite the controversy, Carson's legacy as a classic television host and cultural icon remains. His impact on the entertainment industry and politics is still felt today, and his influence continues to resonate with audiences of all ages. Whether through his public campaigns or private tapes, Carson's legacy is a testament to his enduring talent and influence. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, faced challenges in connecting with younger audiences during a show featuring the musician Morrissey. Despite his efforts, the generational gap proved difficult to bridge, with the audience responding more enthusiastically to Morrissey's performance than to Carson's attempts at humor. Actress Sally Field also had her own uncomfortable interactions with Carson. In a later interview on Watch What Happens Live, she recalled feeling nervous and ill at ease during her appearances on The Tonight Show. Field, who was a rising star at the time, found it difficult to connect with Carson and felt that their conversations fell flat. In addition to these challenges, Carson was also considered as a potential replacement for Jack Parr, who had previously hosted The Tonight Show. However, these plans were cut short by the untimely death of Bob Crane, another actor who was in the running for the position. 
Crane's mysterious death in 1978 remains unsolved to this day, leaving many questions unanswered about the circumstances surrounding his passing. Despite these setbacks, Carson's legacy as a talented and influential actor and host continues to endure. His contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark on the industry and his impact can still be felt today. Whether through his groundbreaking work on The Tonight Show or his memorable performances in film and television, Carson's impact on popular culture is undeniable. As we look back on his career, it is clear that Carson faced his fair share of challenges and setbacks. But through it all, he remained a consummate professional and a true master of his craft. His ability to connect with audiences and make them laugh will always be remembered and his contributions to the world of entertainment will continue to resonate for generations to come. Johnny Carson, the renowned actor and host of The Tonight Show, was a major investor in John DeLorean's car company. Unfortunately, the company failed after DeLorean's legal troubles, leaving many people disappointed. Despite this setback, Carson's impact on the world of entertainment was undeniable. When it came to interviewing guests on his show, Carson preferred to stay detached and avoid them before and after the interviews. He believed that this approach helped him maintain a level of objectivity and professionalism. However, his relaxed and conversational style put his guests at ease and made for some truly memorable moments on the show. One of Carson's most beloved recurring characters was Karnak the Magnificent, a mystical figure known for his humorous and often absurd predictions. With his turban and exaggerated accent, Karnak would deliver his predictions in a serious tone, only to have them fall apart in a burst of laughter. Despite their silliness, Karnak's predictions were always a highlight of the show and are still remembered fondly today. Carson's ability to balance humor and seriousness, as well as his willingness to take risks and try new things, made him a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. His impact can still be felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of performers and audiences alike. Whether through his interviews, his characters, or his many other contributions to the world of show business, Carson will always be remembered as a true classic. In the 1970s, The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson was a major profit generator for NBC, bringing in millions of dollars each year. The show's success had a significant influence on the network's decision to create Saturday Night Live. Carson had expressed his desire for a shorter work week and NBC aimed to fill the Saturday evening time slot with a new show. Although Carson's tenure on The Tonight Show lasted for 30 years, his very first broadcast has been lost to time. Only a brief visual and audio clip remains, leaving many curious about the beginning of this classic show. Despite the lack of recordings from his early days, Carson's impact on the late-night television landscape is undeniable. The actor's charm and wit captivated audiences making The Tonight Show a must-watch for many Americans. As a result, NBC's decision to create Saturday Night Live was a strategic move to maintain viewership during the weekend. This new show would become a cultural phenomenon in its own right, further solidifying NBC's position as a major network. Throughout his career, Johnny Carson left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His contributions to The Tonight Show and the subsequent creation of Saturday Night Live have resonated with audiences for decades. Although his first episode may be lost, the legacy of this accomplished thespian continues to endure. Johnny Carson's longtime sidekick, Ed McMahon, was known for his boisterous laugh and support roles on The Tonight Show. McMahon, always ready with a hearty he used Johnny, to introduce the actor, was a beloved figure in his own right. However, in 2008, McMahon faced financial issues that threatened his home. The economic downturn had hit him hard, and he found himself in a difficult situation. It was then that Donald Trump stepped in, offering to help McMahon avoid losing his home. Trump's offer was a generous one, and it highlighted the bond that often forms between those in the public eye. Despite the challenges that McMahon was facing, his contributions to The Tonight Show and his friendship with Johnny Carson had not been forgotten. The story of McMahon's financial troubles serves as a reminder of the ups and downs that even those in the public eye can face. Despite his success and fame, McMahon still faced the same economic challenges as many other Americans. Fortunately, with the help of Donald Trump and others, McMahon was able to weather the storm and keep his home. His story is a testament to the power of friendship and the generosity of those who are willing to lend a helping hand when it is needed most. 
In 2009, the world of entertainment said goodbye to Ed McMahon, a longtime partner of Johnny Carson on The Tonight Show. McMahon's contributions to the show were significant, and his passing was met with an outpouring of appreciation for his role in making The Tonight Show a classic. One notable moment in The Tonight Show's history was when Harry Belafonte made history as the first African American to host the show in 1968. Belafonte's appearance was a significant milestone in the show's history and in the broader context of American television. Even after retiring, Carson remained involved in the world of late night television. He stayed in contact with David Letterman, providing jokes for his monologues. This behind the scenes collaboration was a testament to Carson's enduring influence and his ongoing contributions to the genre. The relationships and moments that defined Carson's career were many and his impact on American television is still felt today. From his partnership with McMahon to Belafonte's historic appearance and his post-retirement collaboration with Letterman, Carson's legacy is a rich tapestry of memorable moments and enduring contributions. Johnny Carson was known for his memorable quotes on a range of topics, particularly politics and celebrity culture. The actor had a knack for making incisive and often humorous comments that resonated with his audience. For instance, he once quipped, I'm not much for political jokes. I've seen too many of them come true. Such quotes became a hallmark of his show and are still remembered today. After decades of entertaining audiences, Carson retired in 1992, bringing to an end his tenure as the host of The Tonight Show. His retirement was marked by emotional performances and tributes from colleagues and fans alike. Carson's decision to step down was undoubtedly a significant moment in television history as he had been a fixture of late night entertainment for many years. Carson's final show was watched by an estimated 50 million people, a testament to his enduring popularity. During the show, he expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to have had such a long and successful career. He thanked his audience, his guests, and his staff, and he spoke movingly about how much he would miss the experience of hosting the show. As the credits rolled on Carson's final show, it was clear that this classic program would be remembered fondly by generations to come. The actor's wit, charm, and intelligence had left an indelible mark on American television, and his legacy continues to resonate today. After the death of Johnny Carson, many of his friends and colleagues took a moment to reflect on his impact and contributions to television. The actor, best known for hosting The Tonight Show from 1962 to 1992, had a profound influence on the medium and those who worked with him. Carson's understated humor and ability to connect with audiences made him a beloved figure. He had a knack for making his guests feel at ease and was known for his quick wit and improvisational skills. The Tonight Show became a must-watch for many Americans and Carson's reign as host cemented his place in television history. One of Carson's former colleagues, Ed McMahon, who served as the announcer and sidekick on The Tonight Show, spoke about the actor's legacy. Johnny was a true professional and a great friend, McMahon said. He set the standard for late night television and will be greatly missed. Carson's impact extended beyond the world of entertainment. He was known for his philanthropy, supporting various charities and causes throughout his career. His kindness and generosity left a lasting impression on those who knew him. The Tonight Show's band leader, Doc Severinsen, also spoke about Carson's legacy. Johnny was a class act and I feel privileged to have worked with him for so many years," Severinsen said. He had a tremendous impact on television and will always be remembered for his talent and kindness. Even after his retirement from The Tonight Show, Carson remained an influential figure in the industry. He continued to mentor young comedians and remained a respected and beloved figure in the world of entertainment. In the end, it was Carson's ability to connect with audiences and make them laugh that made him a true television icon. His legacy lives on through the many memories and moments he created for viewers over the years. As McMahon put it, Johnny Carson will always be synonymous with The Tonight Show and the golden age of television.